How's it going guys and welcome back to another video. So it is a pretty cold morning on the farm here and um, We've actually had a little bit of snow here and there uh, mostly during night time But yeah, definitely having a bit of snowfall now. It's it's definitely cooling down quite a bit I mean we are into December so you would kind of expect that but um, yeah, it just feels like the year has absolutely flown by feels like it should still be summertime so I want to head over to the other farm and I just want to make sure real quick that the chickens are doing okay and I just want to um, just peek at the field over there and make sure everything looks okay um, should be fine we haven't had any major storms or anything like that so I just want to double check and make sure all is good but there's not a huge amount of work going on at the moment on the farm in terms of field work yeah the field looks pretty good not too bad at all and um, yeah it, it's just that well that time of the year where there's not a huge amount happening so what I thought I would do is I want to go look at another little piece of equipment that I saw online a few days ago um, yeah, they're good on food they seem to be doing pretty well I would say I'd like to get them in a bigger enclosure because we do have quite a quite a few chickens now and I would like to get them something that's um, maybe got like a a little house for them where they can shelter in so um, yeah we'll maybe look at that real soon maybe in the off season not a bad idea to look into something like that but yeah I saw a little piece of equipment and I'm really sure we've actually looked at this particular piece of equipment a while back probably a good few months back when it was new we looked at it at clever motors so it's a little sort of off-road go-kart thing so I saw the ad pop up there and yeah I want to go take a look because it's not far from where we are and it might be a good little thing to buy now and flip hopefully pretty quickly because it seems like kind of an ideal Christmas present um for i don't know maybe kids i don't know it's kind of big i guess so maybe maybe teenagers or adults i mean i wouldn't mind one to be honest but anyway let's grab the pickup truck and we'll get the trailer hooked up oh and i got the little zeta all serviced up and it's looking pretty decent it's got definitely a bit of wear and tear on the paint and stuff um it's just again one of those tractors where it's not worth spending a huge amount of money on it and if you look at the front of it here it's actually in pretty decent condition and it cleaned up really really well it's um starts really well drives pretty well and i thought that these these were around 180 horsepower and yeah i was way off it's about 80 horsepower so not quite as powerful as I thought they were and it ended up just being an electrical fault there was literally just an electrical fault with the ignition hence why it wouldn't start so the engine on it was really good I spent about a thousand five hundred in parts and servicing and all of that so it was quite expensive but it has been done really well and that should be good to go and hopefully we can find a new home for it uh, really really soon so yeah I'm very happy with the way that it turned out and very happy that it wasn't an expensive fix in fact it was a very very cheap fix getting that going so couldn't be happier about that so just shows if you are willing to just spend a little bit of time diagnosing problems they might not always be as big as you think they are anyways I am gonna get this hooked up and we're gonna head down the road. They're actually very close to Clever Motors. Um, there we are. Beautiful. So we're gonna head down there and we're gonna have a look at this little go kart and see if we're gonna buy it or not. So I'll see you guys there. All right. So I'm over here and it's it's basically just next to to clever motors they are right over there 
But yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing was sitting over there. I'm sure we looked at this over at Clever Motors a few months ago, and I was quite interested in it. Obviously, didn't want to buy it new, because they, they aren't exactly that cheap, but... Nice little thing. I definitely think that would fit an adult. Probably a bit big for kids, to be honest. I like this a lot. Looks like a fun little thing. So, um, yeah, the asking price on the advert is 3000 And I think it's probably a probably a decent price. I'll see if we can maybe get it a little bit cheaper. But yeah, that looks in pretty good condition. Right, let's um, see if anyone's home. I did tell them that I was coming this morning, so hopefully they remembered. Right. Alright, so um, we made a deal on it. So he said that it drives just fine. Obviously, there's not space really to drive it around here. So I decided not to take it for a test drive. But we did start it up and all and starts on the button. So yeah, it um, looks like a, like a good little thing. He unfortunately wasn't willing to go any lower than 3000, which I guess is understandable. But um, yeah, I like this thing really cool this is actually the first time that i'm actually driving it not much of a drive but yeah it looks it's pretty cool i like that it's quite comfortable as well nice i'm very happy with that right so um yeah let's take that back to to the dealership i don't think we're gonna have to do much on that if anything i mean it's clean and seems to be in good condition i'll do a quick oil check on it but other than that, it'll probably be good to go. So, yeah, let's take it back. Oh, hang on. Hello? <laughs> Alright, so we are back at the farm. And that was Jimmy who phoned. So he has got a little job for us. And it's a job that we haven't really done at all. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, he wants us to do a bit of rock picking. So he's got his rock picker over from his other farm. And actually, I just want to take this for a quick spin. Just around the yard here is good. Yeah, feels pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, I like it. Right. Um, yeah, so he's got his rock picker over from the other farm. And he says he's got quite a bit of a rock problem over here, which... Honestly, it isn't really surprising because we've got a big rock problem over here as well, which we'll have to deal with at some point. And um, probably before our next seeding, we'll have to take care of that. But oh, I can actually see the the rock picker sitting over there by the looks of it. Ooh, that looks that looks fancy. Right, let's go um, have a look. So I said we can use the 6250. Um, I really, really like that tractor. I would love to own that tractor someday. Or one like it. It doesn't have to be specifically that one. But yeah, I really, really do like them. Um, but yeah, he says he's got a bit of a rock problem on most of his fields over here. And he wants to start taking care of them. Uh, while there's not a huge amount of work going on. So uh, that makes sense, I guess. Um, especially that he doesn't have any crop in by the looks of it Ooh, yeah that is fancy look at that that looks really cool my goodness me i've never used one of these i've used one of the like rotating rock pickers but this looks quite complicated actually well okay um so yeah so there's the big field over there next to zach's place i actually initially thought that zach owned that piece of field so um or piece of land uh keys oh yeah there we are um yeah i i actually initially thought that was zach's land it doesn't look like zach actually owns much land at all i should actually try and find out what exactly is his not that it's really got anything to do with me it's just sort of out of interest sake but um yeah we'll, we'll have to see I think it's maybe just a little piece of land behind his house, not next to it. I don't know. He doesn't seem to be too concerned with farming. I wonder if he actually farms at all. Because he's got the little Mercedes MB track. Another tractor that I really, really like. But he doesn't seem to have much equipment. So yeah, I initially thought this field in front of us here was his. But no, this is uh, Jimmy's field. This is the one we're going to be working on today. So maybe that field in the distance there, maybe that's his? I don't know. I don't know. 
doesn't seem like he's too bothered, to be honest. I think he's just um, a bit of a hobby farmer, probably. Anyway, I am going to get this thing figured out because I haven't used anything like this before. So I'm going to figure out how this works. Um, easy enough to unfold it. And then I'm going to send the drone up. And we are going to jump into a quick time lapse. And we're going to get this field knocked out. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Oh, you got me stressing, counting all my blessings. God, come get me out of this town. It's every day I wake up wishing I could break up with the city light and construction sound. I couldn't wait to move, I had so much to prove It's all I could do to get away But now that I'm here, I'm filled with fear In the mirror when I look in my face, all I see Is an empty heart and broken All right, so that is job done, and that is a really, really nice piece of equipment. It deals with the rocks really well. Doesn't really cope with the big rocks too well, but the small and sort of medium-sized rocks, um, it, it just does really well. I do like that, and that didn't take too long at all. So I was going to drop the rocks where Jimmy told me to, and I thought, hang on a minute, let me give him a call. Just find out what exactly he's going to do with these rocks. And he just said, well, he'll just get rid of them. So I asked him if we can get them, and he said, yeah, go for it. So I brought them over to our farmyard, and honestly, I don't really know what we're going to do with them, but I thought it's better than just, well, basically dumping them. So we've got a little pile of rocks over here now. Um, like I said, I don't really know what we're going to do with them, but I thought at the very least, and uh, there's our little pile of rocks, at the very least, we can maybe use it as filler material if we're building again, save a bit of money that way. Um, I don't know if we'll have any other real use for it, but yeah, let's wait and see. Maybe, maybe we can use it for something. Anyway, I want to head back to the dealership and I want to go have a look at that little go-kart. I want to see if the oil's good on it and maybe we can get that up for sale today. Oh, hang on. Hello? All right, well, that was a certain Mr. James Miller from the Sawmill. So, he wants to know if we can lend a hand over there and do a bit of stump grinding. So, they are in the process of putting some new trees in, uh, mostly where we've been working, actually. And they need to get rid of the old stumps. So, they've got... Obviously, all of the equipment over there, this is what they do. Um, they just don't have an operator at the moment. They're a bit short staff. So, he asked if we're interested. And I said, yeah, we don't really have much on the agenda at the moment. So, other than the little go-kart, but that wouldn't take too long to sort out at all. So, um, yeah, let's, let's head over there. And we'll go do a bit of stump grinding and play with that beautiful... Fiat tractor that he's got over there. I love that tractor. It's such a beefy looking tractor. So I kind of jumped to every opportunity to have a go in that. But um, yeah, let's head over there. We'll see what exactly we are working with in terms of the stump grinder. I don't really know what, what gear he's got over there, but I'm thinking probably something half decent. He's got quite an operation going on over there um but anyway let's um head over there while it's just down the road and we'll have a chat to him and i'll see you guys when we are heading out to the job site so yeah see you in a bit all right so i had a bit of a chat with james there and he's doing pretty well well looks like this is all of the saplings that they're planning on planting he was saying about 120 
that needs to go in the ground. So, yeah, they need a bit of space cleared there or stumps cleared. But they have no operator at the moment. So, yeah. Um, oh, look at that. I love this tractor. Absolutely love it. Oh, it's already attached there. Nice um, stump grinder there. That looks fairly new, actually. Pretty cool. I think this is the planter that they used. And he did say that he might need us for planting. So that'll be pretty cool if we get to come out and plant a few trees. Um, he said he'll let us know. But yeah, maybe in the next few days we can come and help with that. That'll be pretty freaking cool to do that. Anyway, let's um, get this big boy fired up. Oh, it sounds so good. So loud though. It's very loud. Oh, lovely sound though. Fantastic. Right. So, I am going to head across the road and sort of see what we are dealing with here see how much work we've got to do and um, yeah figure out a bit of a game plan on how we're gonna work through that but I am gonna get the drone back in the air and hopefully I don't fly it into any trees or anything because it is well pretty dense over here but we shall see but yeah we're gonna get the drone out and we're gonna jump into a real quick time lapse and we're gonna get this knocked out. So for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Got a brake pad squeaking that I gotta check, but I don't mind it. Cause I got her riding on that shotgun side. With that, take me till the sunrise. Look inside her eyes. Now we're flying. Yeah, we're flying. All right, so that is job done, and that was a lot of fun. I don't know, there's just something about working with powerful equipment like that that can basically destroy absolutely anything in its path that is just very satisfying. So, yeah, I, I quite enjoyed that. But he'll let us know um, whether we can help out with planting or not. Um... We'll have to wait and see whether he's got enough people over there. But um, yeah, hopefully we do because that'll be pretty fun. But I think that is going to be it for today. So I think it was a pretty good day. We got a nice little new addition to the farm. Um, so I think that'll sell pretty quickly. I think we'll put it up for about 5,000. Um, so I'll do a quick oil check on that. Put it up for about 5,000. I'm not going to be too aggressive on the price on that. I want to move it quickly. Um... And yeah, we got to play with a nice stump grinder and a quite a interesting um, rock picker. So yeah, I think that was a, a pretty good day for us. And we'll have hopefully be making a bit of money out of that as well. I'm not sure how much yet, but we'll see when it clears into the bank account. But that is going to be it for today, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.